Hey everybody, this is Rex. I'm here with Mel and Courtney this week as our first guest speaker. How are you doing, Courtney? Hello, how are you? Oh, it's exciting to have you. I, I know that you're planning on having your your uh, your husband and uh, your kids. Are we going to be lucky enough or is it going to be you for today? Or? They're actually, I made them go in the other room for a little bit. Yeah, we've we've had a bit of a rough, rough day ourselves, so you know you just kind of soldier on, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and both Mel and I, I know her heart. She, we didn't want to miss this for the world either, you know, with with uh, uh, planning this with you. So we're we, we're excited. We see some people that are joining, and so while we're waiting for more people to join, um. We've, I think most people know, we've, we've had quite the issues with TikTok recently. So that and then with my nephew's little baby boy passing on, um, I think most of you will, will remember the prizes that we were giving out the very, our, the, the Turn TikTok Purple Live, the big live that we did. Um, and because there were so many of you, <laughs> it's taken me longer than I thought. And that will be announced next week. Um, and then we have the prizes for today that we'll be giving out when we are done um, interviewing Courtney and hearing all about her. And then we'll be presenting the ones for next week as well. So we're kind of behind. We really, really apologize for that. That's not fun. But Rex, if you would take this and just let's rewind. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we got Misty Marvin in the house and Julie. So thanks for, for so joining. So you guys remember, so this will be announced next week with some other prizes next week. So remember the lantern. And you'll get five oils with the lantern. I'll show a picture of the lantern. Nope. Um, I did show them before. It's a white... This is a white, beautiful lantern. Okay. And it will come with this kit. Trade you. Yeah, this is something that really means a lot to Nell, and we, we apologize. We want to get that name out to you guys, but we're... Yeah, there's going to be two winners. So that kit that? will have your, your oils and some other fun stuff for me and Living. Um, Perfect. Then, you guys remember I'll take that one and then the home spa which I know probably every one of you could use it's got bath bombs pain cream all the fun stuff you name it it's in there so that's going to be next week along with some other prices that we'll name it or that we'll show at the end But this was this was the the ones that we were gonna that that are way past too. We apologize. Okay. Yeah, we did a post on that, and we're that's true. We did. We're making progress as having you as our, our first guest, Courtney. So that's really exciting, and <laughs> um, and we've got some things as we've mentioned, you know, kind of going on back behind the scenes as well that we. Yeah, I don't know that we can tell them that part. Yeah. Um, it's up to you. Oh, it's fine. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, on April 6th, uh, we're booked for Good Things Utah. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so we... Getting us out there, you guys. Yeah. So mark your calendar at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, Standard Time. Uh, we'll be joining... Uh, Nisha DeGaring and the crew on Good Things Utah. They're uh, they're a 
a TV program that's actually been going for about 20 years, and she was the original TV host. And and so we reached out to her, oh, it was a little over a month ago, and uh, Nell and I are kind of in the process of just kind of organizing some of the things that we're going to be presenting in terms of talking points. And just uh, we've also, you can also go and check out on YouTube. Today we put together about a five-minute clip that kind of goes over um, some of the history that those that have been following us are, are even more. Yeah, uh, so like, uh, Courtney, there's a, a little clip of you in it. Um, a lot of a lot of you that were on, on the Zoom. That's right. Um, I believe that will be played. So oh, awesome. we're really gaining yeah. some headway. And, and you know what that means. We're, the ultimate goal is to get... Um, for me, some bigger things out to you guys to get more research done, to get more funding, more people, more stories, more love. You get it. So this is a huge step in that direction. You're telling me I should bring tissues for good thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a very powerful step, a huge step. Not, not think. This is, you know, this is. And you'll see Rex, but I'm I'm writing my letter. Yeah. Uh, from my heart, it will. I'm, you know, I do my best when I write, and I'd like to present it with encompassing all of you and encompassing what we're all fighting for and what we're all fighting daily, um, and so. It's, you know, it's the first time that we'll be, you know, he'll be sitting in front of, but really, we've got to get him, I've got to tell him what's where, that's how important it is. <laughs> She'll be dressing <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. She's got to try like to. Not, you're not, no, I love your hoodies, but not there, you know. She's going to have to try to work with <laughs> this mess the best she can. Uh, um, but we're looking forward to it. I mean, you know, and it's. And try to be transparent as much as possible. I mean, there's some stress that's associated with all these kind of things, and trying to just make sure that it's it's, it's successful and delivering for you guys. And but we're doing all right. We're we're, we're hanging in there, and we're just you know, taking it a step at a time, right? Yeah. So. All right. So yeah. So more for that. Uh, more on that. Um, and. If anyone, as Courtney's going along before she starts, if anyone has questions for her, um, I'm watching. I'm watching the comments. Yes. And at this point. I'll kind of uh, wedge those questions in. Um, yes. Yeah. Kind of tag team with Misty. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Thank yeah, you for that, both of you. Absolutely. Um, so, so Courtney, as far as I just start out with, you have been diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, mm -hmm. and then, uh, but from what I understand, that obviously comes with a lot of other symptoms, but a lot of other, for some people, a lot of other um, diseases and trials with it. When were you diagnosed first? Or first um, I got diagnosed with the Ehlers-Danlos uh, hypermobility when I was 12. Um, oh. I dislocated my shoulder. Uh, I played a lot of sports, and I dislocated my shoulder serving a volleyball. And um, I put it back in myself, and um, oh. I didn't think anything of it because I'd done it so many times. Oh. Um, but my coach was like, that's not right. You need to go see a doctor. And, of course, my doctor, I had my first rotator cuff surgery um, when I was 12 years old. Wow. Um, and then from then on, it's just been multiple surgeries, uh, fixing my ligaments and tendons. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a condition where your ligaments are... Like weak to keep your bones together, is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. they they pretty much keep your, 
your bones together and in the right spot. So my um, my body doesn't make um, collagen like everybody else's. Or, right. or, I can't yeah. remember. But anyways, it, I think it overproduces. But um, it makes like my skin is super super soft. It's like baby soft. Um, it's some they can stretch their skin out really far. Um, and it's just like I I for one instance we were painting our house and um, I did the roller probably four or five times on the roll. And within those four or five times, I tore my rotator cuff because it was, if I do a certain um, movement over and over and over, I tend to tear. Oh my so God. it's really frustrating and like working out or anything like that, you can't do any consistent motion or you're going to tear something. That's so even is um, my chiropractor tore my rotator cuff just stretching. Oh, wow. yeah. That's There's, not you. I don't care how flexible you are. That's not to. I can't imagine the pain. And yeah, then you yeah. have to pop some joints back <laughs> in yourself. I do it daily. Uh, oh my god. My, if you look on my bed, I have probably, I don't know, six or seven pillows up on my, my side alone because oh. I have to keep pillows under my shoulders, under my elbows, under my knees, under my hips, because if, if for some reason they, I fall asleep and get um, relaxed, I sublex, which is just like the, the joint, it comes out of the joint, but not completely out. Right. So seeing out just that little bit causes pain and it causes your mus your muscles to spasm and causes extreme pain. Mm. So So when it sublexes, when it's partially out, is mm -hmm. that is that almost worse than it popping out completely? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Oh my <laughs> and then once you get it in it feels better. Like um, this morning, I was having a really, or last night and this morning, I was having a really bad pain day, and it was because my shoulders kept sublexing. Oh. And um, when I get really stressed out, um, I sublex a lot because I tense up. And um, when I tense, it sublexes. So it's just, it. some people that have ehlers Danlos Syndrome, they have like the vascular side or um, I think there's five different sides of it, but um, mine is mostly just ligaments and tendons. Okay. What's and that it, term that you said again? That's the pain, painful. Oh, uh, the subluxing. Yeah. What does that mean again? It's just it's like your your joint is going out of socket, but it's not completely out of socket. It's just oh. like in the uh, routine. And is that what's most painful with that condition? Is that movement? Yeah, and it, because you're subluxing all the time, mm -hmm. um, when you fall asleep or when you get relaxed or when you get stressed, um, you get a lot of inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so then the inflammation makes the subluxing worse because you get all the swelling and the fluid in that joint. So oh I've goodness. had um, 29 surgeries so far. Oh my god! Oh my um, heck! Yeah, and all of them except for two. I had two C-sections, but all the rest of them were all joint um, surgeries. So they. And what kind of surgeries? Not surgeries uh, to put, you know, things yeah, back into place. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Um, my knees actually, I just got them both done about six months ago, and it was because both of my kneecaps were dislocated. I fell about a year ago, and my kneecaps dislocated. And um, 
they were just popping in and out, in and out, in and out. So they had to go in and cut the tip in to loosen it up just enough to make my kneecap where it should go in that groove. So it's, it's just putting my joints back where they need to be mm -hmm. for long enough. Because it usually lasts about six months to a year. And you have to find a doctor that will actually operate on you. There's a lot of doctors that won't. How disabling. Is it, sorry. Is it, what's, what's the reason? That they won't operate Maybe, on you? Yeah. Um, because it's just going to come back. Okay. I've had really, really good um, orthopedic surgeons that they're like, if I can get you out of pain for a year, why not do it? And right. so they they have operated on me multiple times, and I trust I trust them because they they fix it the first time. But some people or some orthopedics want you to wear braces that will keep your body in line. But if you don't have that brace on, you're going to sublux the whole time. Right. So it's it's be in braces and have the blisters and the rubbing and the uncomfortableness of having them on 24-7 or getting surgery and dealing with it that way. I deal with the surgery way. Some people deal with it braces way. Yeah, I've seen where I guess you can get them plastic or they actually made them kind of fashionable now, but the, the yeah. finger braces? Yeah, I have some. <laughs> I'm, I, we're talking the, uh, the, all the knuckles, you mm -hmm. guys. And the good ones, one of them is over a hundred dollars. Yes, so, that's yes, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. I, isn't it? I know it's gonna be really weird. I'll show you my fingers, but like they look normal, but then they do like this weird where they dislocate whenever I just bend my fingers. Yeah, where like, they look hyperextended, I guess. Is that, yeah, am I saying that right? Every single one of my joints are hyperextended. Yeah. So whether you're... What did you just do with your hand? Sir? What did you just do with your hand? Look at her hand. What? I've seen it right here. Yeah. So yeah. whether you're relaxing or you're stressed, mm -hmm. it's it's not necessarily good. So whether you're stiffening up or relaxing, yeah, you're struggling. It's, it's the same way. You're either pulling it one way or the other. <laughs> is that where most your pain is associated with this condition or are there other conditions that that compound it um with the CIDP or the I had um I got diagnosed with Guillain Barre um November 1st of 2018 okay, and um <laughs> My joint pain now is a mixture between the Ehlers Downloads and the CIDP because it's um, it's the subluxing and the dislocating, so it's like just in the joint, and then it's actually like a deeper nerve pain now too. Oh. Because wow. um, with the CIDP, it's um, Chronic demolition, chronic inflammation, inflammation, demolization, polyneuropathy. So, I, all of my nerves are pretty much stripped of that myelin. Oh my goodness. That's on there. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, Courtney. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's I, hey, I know that for doing that. A lot of people that have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, um, and maybe it's just me because I have it and I see it now, yeah. but a lot of them have autoimmune diseases. Yeah. And, or, um, and it usually runs in threes. Like I have um, Hashimoto's too that with my thyroid. So the autoimmune is just, I guess, added on to the, to the Ellers Downloads syndrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, you are really 
do, you, do you know anybody that has the condition that you've been able to connect with that's specific to just your conditions, not just chronic pain in general, but to, but the, what you're describing here? Yes, she's actually, I don't know if she's on the live right now. Um, chronically Chelsea. Oh, okay. Totally wrong, but anyway, she, um, I can look her up. Yeah, chronically Chelsea. C H E L S E A M. Anyways, uh, sorry. Um, she has Miller Stanley syndrome and, um, uh, CID. Too, and it's mm -hmm. it's crazy that it. I was in um, this place called Tear. It's uh, right right after I got diagnosed. I stayed in the hospital for two months, and then I got moved to a because I was um, I couldn't move anything below my waist. I couldn't feel it or move it. Um, so they moved me from the hospital to a um, therapy. Play a therapy hospital um, to get to me to where I could start moving my legs and um, trying to get those nerve connections back. And there was a, there was two young ladies there that had the exact same thing. They had Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and Cier King on Bray. So um, I don't like I said I don't know if it's if it's really diagnosed together very often or if it's just a coincidence that I've met, you know, a handful of people that have it. Um, but it seems like a lot of people that have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome have another comorbidity with it. Yes. They have something else that's going on because it's a genetic disorder. So... And can you repeat that second condition again and just give uh, some some high-level symptoms? Because a lot of this is new for people, and we're trying to just no, kind of capture it. I, I think I have a little bit of a basic understanding of the of the tendons and not holding in the joints, the muscles, and just that, that give and how uh, painful that is. What was that other condition again that you said? It's chronic inflammation, demyelization, polyneuropathy. And it's um, pretty much a chronic form of Guillain-Barre. Um, I got diagnosed with the Guillain-Barre first. And when you have um, a flare-up of the Guillain-Barre, usually you can get this medicine. It's called IVIG. Yeah. And, um, most of the time, it will reverse your effects. And you can get some of your movement back, and that's the only time in your life you'll have it. Some people get it um, because of uh, immunizations. Some people get it. I they believe I got mine from stress um, mm -hmm. because we had the hurricane hit, um, and then I got bit by a dog, and I got really affected, and. Then I had a really stressful job on top of it. So they think that all those stressful events caused my body to go into the, um, the Guillain-Barre. But because after two months, I went to therapy, um, tear, and then I got out two months later, and I was pretty much walking on my own. I had a walker. Um, I was doing really good, and then I woke up and could feel my legs again. So I couldn't move on, couldn't do anything. So it, it started all back over for me. So is it a and nerve I, pain, or is it more of a, a, a nerve sensation or lack of sensation? Kind uh, of it's a lack of sensation, pretty oh, much. Okay. All the pain. But whenever it first started, it felt like everything was asleep. Like, I had just been laying on my leg wrong. Um, and that's what, when I woke up the, the morning of the first, I woke up and um, I'm used to stuff being sore or asleep or whatever just because of the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Right. And when I went to roll over, I couldn't move my legs, and I just thought they were asleep. 
And then I went to take a step and I couldn't move on. Mm. I couldn't move nothing. And it was, I had to get around on a little B scooter. I would sit down on it and my husband and my kids would push me around in it. And then it started getting to where I was having a problem breathing. So I was like, okay, it's time to go to the hospital now. Something's going on. Mm. And then that's when they diagnosed me for picking up her eye. What age was that? Ma'am? What age was uh, did that you receive was, that? Like November 1st of 2018. Oh, goodness. Wow, fairly yeah. recent. Mm -hmm. um, ever since then, I've been doing IVIG treatments, and they've been working and doing great. And then my insurance started denying them because they are so expensive. Um, and then, I know y'all, y'all are on the insurance thing like I am, but it, it took them four months to start paying for my IVIG again. And I went from walking on my own and using my wheelchair when I had to go far distances to bed down. So now I'm, I'm pretty much in my bed most of the time. Um, I use my walker around the house and my wheelchair outside the house. But now that I'm starting to get my IVIG back, um, Monday was my second dose. I mean, my second treatment in two months. And I'm already being able to walk to the bathroom by myself with, well, with my walker and walk to the living room. And that is something that I haven't done in four months. Oh, really? That is something to celebrate. Oh, yeah. It's just, and that's the crazy thing is you're going to take a medicine that's going to oh. change your walking just because it's a little expensive. Like, I am. It's, and I know you feel that. <laughs> you know it's what I'm It's unreal, talking. isn't it? It's just unreal. It's unreal. I cannot believe. It. I'm so glad. How did you, did you just, you and your doctors just have to keep fighting and fighting to get that back? Yeah, well, um, I have been fighting for ever since I got diagnosed to get um, outpatient treatment. Yeah. I was going to go to the hospital, to the ER once a month, and they would admit me. They would give me my treatment. I would go home. And then every month, it was the same thing. I would go in the hospital for six days. I would come home. And it was because my insurance didn't want to pay for it. And now, um, my insurance is finally saying, okay, a six-day hospital bill or a two-day, you know, or a two-day um, outpatient or a two-day um, a two-day uh, outpatient treatment. Sorry, my son came. You're just You're right. fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but the insurance is finally realizing that it's a lot less money to do an outpatient treatment for two days than a six-day hospital stay. There you go. Yeah. I mean, how did you? It's not a perfect system, but I'm so glad you're back on IVIG. IVIG, yeah. I so I know, I know. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of the Fry Life on YouTube, F R E Y, but she has cystic fibrosis. Yeah. And she has IVIG treatments. Mm -hmm. she? They use them for a lot of stuff. What exactly? Is an IVIG. What it's is it? IV hemoglobin. I can't say the word. Um, but it's hemoglobin. It's, I guess, something to do with the cell. I don't, I haven't really looked into the whole science of it, but it is used for a lot of different um, illnesses. Yeah. But, but on the other, the other 
reason why insurances don't want to use it is because there's um, a lot of kickback from it because there's a lot of people that have side effects from it. Um, and one of the major ones is migraines, which of course I get those. And it's, it's just, I don't know, I guess they think it's, you use one thing and you get another thing, or I, I don't know, but the IPIG is used for a lot of different, it's even, I believe it's even used in some cancer treatments, but I'm not, don't quote me on that, I'm not completely sure about that. It does seem to be, like you said, um, used quite widely. Yeah, it is. Mm. And it's pretty expensive. I mean, one jar of IVIG is $10,000. Yeah. Oh my word. But it's cheaper than jars and treatments. Do you so, take it? Do you do it monthly? I do it every three weeks, yeah. Every three weeks, okay. <clears throat> I think that's what she is. Every three weeks. And that's that's the most the insurance will allow you to do it is every three weeks. Because of the risk? Uh, because of that. Or the cost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And most people take it with steroids. Uh, like, uh, I do dexamethasone or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so it just makes my body calm down and stop attacking itself. That's pretty much what the IVIG is just to tell my body to chill and stop attacking itself. Wow. Oh, that's insane. So do you take anything for your migraines as well? or? I do. I take a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, a couple of different medications, but... They just started me on um, occipital nerve blocks, um, and those have seemed to work. I got my second treatment yesterday. Um, I have to do it once a week for four weeks to see if it'll work, and they're doing that with uh, Botox. And it, it seems to help, but like last night, I'm having a bad pain day. Um, after my treatments, my joints usually hurt really, really bad. Yeah. Um, after not sleeping and then I had a stressful day today and having a migraine and it's just, usually it's all stress induced and then you get a migraine and it's all, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what? I don't see what it has. But I, I commend it's, uh, you know, it's like all of that happened today, but, you know, you you made kind of a commitment to, to be on here. And I'm sure that there's plenty of times where you're like, I don't know if I can you know, do that. And I know that no one happened, you know, that experiences that all the time. And so it's um, just a conflict, I'm sure. Huh? Watch, I was looking at my watch and I was like, Okay, I got 30 more minutes that I can sleep, and then I'm going to try and get up and move around. <laughs> but yeah. That's just our lifestyle. We, we've learned to deal with it. That you're like, okay, I got 15 more minutes of sleep, or yeah. three more minutes of relaxation, and yeah. then I got to move. And then after this, I can go right back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Or is, it, or is it even worth trying to get rest because we're right. not feeling hot anyway? Mm -hmm. It usually makes you feel worse. <laughs> yeah, but it's a anyone with a, a serious chronic con pain condition, there's there's got to be a million kind of questions where you're assessing yourself every ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is constant. Yeah. You know, I don't kind of minute to minute, yeah. what am I able to do? Mm -hmm. What can I do? How can I show up? Is this just a day where I need to allow my body to to do whatever it needs to do? So I'm going to just flat in bed. I mean, for me, just that's exhausting. Just the trying oh, yeah. to make decisions. Yeah, it's true. 
or trying to think of what other people are thinking about you because you're having this type of day. That is, that is, that's I'd true. like to say I'm done with that, but it's, we're human. Yeah. yeah. And I, have pretty, I have pretty thick skin when it comes to, like, I pretty much chew my own horn, but I still think about it. Yeah. I still think about what, what somebody's thinking about me that I'm in my bed and somebody else is helping me with my kids today because I had a migraine and couldn't see straight. Like, I still think about it. I mean, we're all human, you yeah. know? Especially when it's unfortunate that when you have gone through an experience where you might have heard what somebody has said or thought or mm-hmm. or someone has the way they've looked at you, treated you, man, that's a kick in the gut. Yeah. That is just, that is rough. Um, Julie said, what are some tips for breathing through hard pain days? Oh, um, I have this app. <laughs> this is going to sound silly, but I have this app. It's called Calm. I love that app. I love that app. Sorry. I, I'm excited. I love it. <laughs> I never thought, like, when I was in tear. I had therapists that would come up to me and be like, you need to do a meditation exercise. <laughs> and I'm like, those things don't work. <laughs> I got this app, and that's how I go to sleep. Or if I just need to calm down yeah. and try to stop. Like, I get, whenever I get to hurt really bad, I get really frustrated. And when mm. I get frustrated, I cry. Yeah. And then when I cry, my pain gets worse because my oh. stress gets worse. It just and then I get a pain and it's just a yeah, it down doesn't end. Yeah. And so I try to get on my the calm app and listen to my one of my meditations. That's that's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> They're really the people that do the meditations, the and, and the storytelling, the, the music, the sound effects. You guys, this app is amazing. Mm. Calm, C A L M. It is definitely worth that now. Oh, yeah. It's what we actually gave my son and his fiance for their baby shower mm-hmm. a year of that app because it's yeah. for any age. It's uh-huh. that is just you guys run, don't walk, run and get that <laughs> if you're a human being. It's amazing. It really, really is. Um, let's see. I'm trying to, because the background's not black. How do you motivate yourself to get up and move? Yeah. I struggle immensely. Um, that's kind of a hard one for me. Um, the biggest motivation. White women survive. I love that thing. Is my kids. They're, um. They get me moving around most of the time. Yeah. Um, But I don't want to lose my, I've lost my ability to walk before, and I don't want to lose that again. Mm. If I am able to stand on my own, I am going to stand on my own and go to the bathroom. Yeah. And it might be like today and this week because I had treatment. I can take about five steps and that's about it. Like, um, and then I'm I'm exhausted, but if I take five steps, I'm good. I can take five steps to the bathroom, wait, take five steps back and I got it. But if I'm having a good day and I feel like I could do 10, then I'm going to try and do 12, you know, like, I'm going to try and do as much as I possibly can, but that also backfires sometimes because you feel like you can do more. I was just going to say. And you do too much, and then the next day you're paying it, you're paying for it for three days afterwards. Yeah. So it, it's kind of like a give and take. You have to, you have to take what you can and see how far you can push yourself, but don't push yourself too far. Yeah, 
And that is a very, very, very fine line. Very, yeah. So, so normally yeah. we're not, um, because I just, I so get everything you're saying as far as the general chronic pain um, and the exhaustion it puts you in. There's not, we don't have this buffer room. It's either we're beating ourselves up because we don't think we've done enough or we've done too much because we thought, okay, I've got this today. And mm -hmm. it's easy to, to go over. Um, fight, win, and survive. I love that name. Uh, she also asked, how do you get more than a half an hour? Sleep. Of sleep, or do you? She constantly is waking up. Um, this, I'm not trying to do a product endorsement or anything, mm -hmm. but I have not been sleeping very well my whole life, but the past two weeks, I've been sleeping so much better, and it's, it's ketones. Oh, I know that, yes, you so, know, yeah. That sounds silly, but no, it's it has silly. my body out. We got some in the house, actually. <laughs> uh -uh. I still have yet to try it. Oh, um, you! I my my thing. I'm, I've lost weight. I've lost almost ten pounds in two weeks. Oh, that's and awesome. my inflammation alone, I can see my kneecaps. I have not been able to see my kneecaps in over a year oh. after I've been. I can see them, like, and the energy that I have, yeah, I might not be able to get off the bed, but I can sit up and speak to my kids and have a conversation right. with them, and, you know, that, I haven't been able to do that in, since I got off my IVIG, like, these ketones have seriously changed my life. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. We'll have to keep drinking and see what's going on. And whatever, yeah, don't worry about whatever's working for you is working for you. But then just watch that you're not overdoing it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like last week, um, I think I made a, a TikTok about it, but um, I was feeling so good. It was the end of the week. I'd done my ketones and, um, I, my husband woke up on Friday and was like, let's go do something with the boys. You feel good. Let's go do something. Yeah. So we went to the Busters. Oh. And I was in my wheelchair, but I kind of wheeled myself around. And we, you know, did some games and all that. And oh, then yeah. we went oh, and looked at a house. Well, I should have just went to Dave and Busters and came home. But I was feeling good, and I wanted – I wanted to keep being a normal person. Yeah. So instead of go home, I was like, no, let's just keep doing it. Let's just make a day of it. And I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah that next, sounds familiar. I was well, in the emergency room. So you're looking at your husband's face and then your sweet boy's little face and, and <laughs> because they light up when you see you out and about with them. They do. Yeah. You want me to call them in here? Oh, yes. I think that's I a good it. good segment yeah. right there. You and the boys come in here. Y'all are in for a treat. My boys are. <laughs> <laughs> for me, the little boys. <laughs> I'm sure they're perfect for you in every way. Oh, uh, no. I. God knew what he was doing when he gave yeah. you points. Yep. <laughs> I get that. I don't want to put Brett in. So, Kate and Connor, y'all come here. They want to talk to y'all and get your perspective yeah. on You'll have to rewatch this, Courtney, when you're done, because I think you're looking at the back of my head right now, right? I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> You'll have to, to see the version that everybody else can see. I don't know what's going on. They never miss an opportunity to get on camera. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they're doing such a good job to leave mom alone right now. That I know. I know. They're doing such a good job. Come on, Bella. It's just my oldest. Uh -huh. 
Hey. How you doing, man? I'm delayed a little bit. Hi. Kaden, did you say? Yes, this is Kaden. Hey, Kaden. And... Say hi to everybody, you guys. Say hi to everybody. Hey, there's a lot of people that really, really think you're a pretty cool guy. Yep. Take care of your mom. There's a lot of people that are watching you right now. Yeah. You're really, really amazing. And it, from what we hear, you're pretty, pretty great. You know, a mom right there. They take good care of me. Absolutely. Do you like sitting with your mom? In bed, just talking and sure. you like sitting in bed and talking with you? Joking or talking or yeah, you know. You like sitting and talking and joking. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other people that have their moms and their dads and their brothers and sisters and, and you know friends that that have you know different kinds of things like your mom that they sometimes feel alone or they don't feel like people don't, you know, understand. And so it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to have you guys, you know, join us and being able to meet you because you play a big role in that and kind of being good boys to your mom. So thank you. We need thank people. All right. Thanks. Come here, Anthony. I'll make my husband come over here now. Yeah, this is where Rex is going to give the biggest knocks he's ever done. Yeah, the characters. <laughs> yeah, this is the the hardest thing that it has been is getting, like, we, we lived a very, um, I don't know how you explain it, our kind of life, but we lived a fast-paced life yeah. before I was diagnosed. Yeah. And then when I got diagnosed, it was just, Every day, one day it just stopped everything. And I went to the hospital for two months, and, or two months, and then went to therapy for two months. And so it was a huge adjustment. And for Anthony, I only can tell you his side of the story, but his having to completely switch roles with me in, mm -hmm. I don't know, when he can tell you his side, but. Hey, hey. Hey! What's up, man? Welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you for being on. Oh, absolutely. It's nice to meet you. So you're a yes. pretty special guy to her. <laughs> She's pretty special to all of us. And I have to thank you just from, you know, someone, someone that's somewhat in her um, state. Um, right. Just thank you for for showing up in, in ways that a lot of partners um, oh, choose not right. to or can. Right. You know, it, it's it's not always easy, especially in the beginning when when all this stuff kind of spirals down at you. You don't you don't know what's going on. You you don't yeah. you wonder yourself is this this that bad? Is it this? Is it that? And, yeah. And, you know, I, I can admit, too, in the beginning, I would I would say things like, you know, you, you got to figure out a way to just push through it mm -hmm. and get up through these things and yeah. learn in the long run that that's, that's detrimental to them. And, and, you know, the having these, these autoimmune disorders, having these pain days, you know, they take on a sense of guilt most of yeah. I can't. I can't do this, you know, they don't want to, nobody wants to sit around and do nothing, you know, and so having mm -hmm. that, that guilt, uh, Ramon, I couldn't get up and help clean the house today, I couldn't make a dinner before you got home from work, and, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of me telling her, that I'm not worried about that, don't, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, that's not, I don't put home and say, well, dang, why, why didn't I have a dinner cook? Like, yeah, exactly. Making sure that, that you're okay. And, yeah. And then, you know, we figure out how to, how to get this under control. You know, that's that's our goal, you know. And ultimately, you know, they, it goes back to, you know, they say, oh, well, you take vows for, for 
for better or worse, right. sickness in the earth, and, and you know, you, you gotta you gotta stick to it. They didn't you didn't choose these things to happen to you. You don't want these things to be happening to you. Right. And so it's it's to say, sit here and say it's always easy it would be a flat out lie, but it's, you've got to step back and understand that you know, and give her those days and uh, you know, she's having a bad day, well I come in here and give her a something to drink, turn the lights off, go to the living room, mind my business, you know, and know that I'm not going to see her today, but that's what she needs to be able to rest to have a better day tomorrow. Well, you're, you're more rare than you realize. Uh, And, uh, uh, I really mean that. There's not, there's a lot of people that jump ship, you know, because it's hard. And I'm so glad that you just straight out said that I would absolutely be lying if it wasn't hard. And that some days brutal. Um, Because there's only so much you can do. And sometimes there's only so much a human being can watch. Right. You know, without without any any comfort to offer other than your love. Yeah. Um, No, I mean, you know, like you said, our, our lives changed mm-hmm. um doesn't necessarily mean they changed in a bad way you yes. know you know her life changed too like, yeah the, 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 her freedoms to do things on her own whenever however wherever she wanted was taken from her uh at the same time that you know all i need to really do is make adjustments or you know how selfish of me would that be to say i'm not gonna go you can do nothing, you know, well, I'm not going to help you because I think you should do everything, you know, and Right. Let me ask you. It took a while, you know, it took a while to, to completely understand. We, we can understand you're having a bad day, but like I said, there was those times in the beginning where it's like, well, just, look, I'm sorry, but push through it, not understanding yourself. Yeah. That's, it's not just a push through it situation. Yeah. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. This is one of the things that I've that I've said before. You know, it's. It, um, yeah, I'd like to believe that even um, with all my problems throughout our marriage, I'm a, I've been a good guy. You know, quote unquote, you know, good guy. And I I know that I felt that wasn't enough, right? I you, know, you need to. I remember just kind of thinking. You know, in order for. And I still, you know fall short too often about, you know, with this, but, you know, if if I don't gain more strength and virtue, you know, consistently in the areas that, that she is deserving of and that I need to to be doing, then it's just not going to, you know, be good. It's just not going to be a a good outcome. I mean, you've got the other extreme where you just have maybe what you would call, you know, jerk of a guys and selfish or whatever. They're just like, I'm, I'm done, right? I'm out, you know, but, but uh, at the same time, there's even a lot of guys would make a lot of people and, and you know, a lot of, you know, wives happy and, and, and it would otherwise not be an issue um, until something like this, you know, gets introduced where it, requires you to have to you know whether you want to call it step it up or make some changes and things like that and i think even the best of us it's just doesn't come overnight and naturally is that did you have you found that you had to go through kind of a similar process where you're like look wow this is this is something that i need to even step it up even more to to be better for myself and for my kids absolutely. and for my wife absolutely i mean you know everybody I think has probably has dealt with the situation on either side is thought, well, is it easier? Would it be easier? Can I, you know, walk away and live my own life, you know, in probably right. extreme situations? Uh-huh. Sure. But, you know, you, did you make a commitment or you did to, to that person, whether it's, you know, your wife, or a family member, you know, would you, would you walk away from a child that, that's dealing with this? Because, you know, it's not their fault, you know? So you have to 
kind of do your own studies, do your own research, and and mm-hmm. you know really fall into what's going to help you best. What can I do more? Um, you know, and don't you can't look at it as I'm now burdened with doing all these roles. Yeah. And ask questions. The main thing, the way that he learned um, me and what was going on in my life and what, like when he would, at the very beginning, he'd be like, just push through it. Just get up and yeah. do what you have to do, and then you can go lay back down. I'm like, physically, I can't get up. It's not that I don't want to get up. My body won't move. Yeah. And so, like, me having to actually explain that to him and him being here, because he worked a lot. Yeah. And yeah. him being here and seeing that my legs wouldn't physically move. Yeah. And him coming to tear to the therapy place and seeing them put me on a treadmill and then having to physically move my legs because my brain wouldn't tell my leg what to do, I think that helped him in a sense of knowing it's not me not wanting to do it, Mm -hmm. it's my brain not telling me to do it. Yeah. It wasn't a lazy thing, it was a, my brain will physically do it. And what was his name, what's your husband, what's your your name again, sir? Anthony. Anthony. You know, uh, you know, we sit back and, and you tell people the story, you know, and somebody will say, well, you know, I hear it a lot. Oh, you know, I'm so sorry. It, it must be a lot on you. And I said, well, you know, it's not that big a deal. It's it's the small burdens, and I don't even like to call them the burdens, that I have taken on is nothing compared to what she has to deal with, you know, all the time. And like I said, her, her life, her freedom of life, was basically stripped from her, so yeah. you know I kind of you know got grown to the point of you know who am I to complain about the things that and I have the extra few things I have to take on, you know it, it, it's it's my I guess my uh, I don't know the right word but my my role my my faith my mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, purpose and things like that. As, as, a, as a man, as a husband, to yeah. understand that you know it's it's my role to to as as that caretaker uh, to be that understanding person and to take on and, and do the extra things and, and make sure that we continue to live the life that you know we're able to live. You know, I um. I'm fascinated that the dynamic that is going to be happening increasingly in society happens within the family that, you know, you guys used an example where, you know, even though you were willing to kind of, you know, walk that path and you're kind of making those changes and things, you're, you're, you're having to find those things that you yourself are wrong about and, and, the, and challenging those things, whether that's something is, you know, hey, no, this is, you know, the solution to this situation is, come on, you can do it. And that's, that's, that's what you want to do is that you can kind of be that cheerleader approach of, you know, we can, we can be stronger versus maybe I was wrong in taking that approach. And, and, and you're actually doing all that you, you can be doing. And, you know, all oh, this thought was actually wrong. You know what I mean? And just kind of that little challenging process, it starts in people that are in those closer circles, families. And then it's more and more that, that, you know, maybe they have a brother or they don't have in their immediate family or whatever, but people start taking interest and, and they'll have to go through a similar process for those that, that are open to it. There are going to be some that, that uh, uh, you know, Rare X Bones, Christina, I think had a comment the other day that was just, it was brutal. It was brutal. Some of, it, was, she, it, was, it was disgusting. She, she posted a post and she was just not able to get, She's got anyway. You can go check out her post, um, Misty. Maybe you can post her uh, username. She's a, a huge advocate that 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 uh, has joined us with with all of this. Um, but she just um, had a comment with someone that just said something like, 
you know, like, give it up. You're a, you're an addict. You're a drug addict. Quit being lazy. Just not. I mean, just just ignorance. Yeah, and the, the ignorance and the just you know the pure ugliness of some people. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. uh, it's beyond ignorance at that point. Yeah, you could be ignorant and not understand. Yeah, but when you choose to to step in a place of brutality, mm-hmm. that just I, I I I don't I don't know what I'm saying. That is the that's the thing. Don't put somebody down if you're not walking in their shoes. Yeah. You have no... I, I, no. I my, one of the residents that um, first saw me when I was in the hospital, he told me that it was all in my head. Yeah, oh, and I was yeah that's so Purposely making myself not walk. Yeah. Purposely making myself go to the bathroom with myself. Yeah, throw attention. Oh, you're an attention getter, Courtney. Come on. <laughs> That's what he was saying. And yeah. this was just, he was like a brand new resident. And I said, <laughs> the nicest way possible, I said, if you spent five seconds in my body, you would be screaming to get out. Yeah. You have yeah. You know, what I go through on, a, on a, a day basis. And you're telling me I take too much medication and this is all in my head? You think I want to be in this bed right here and not going and doing Christmas with my kids? Yeah. You really? I, 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 uh, I very nicely told that doctor that he could leave and never come back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rex, has, Rex has done that pretty much to one of, oh, to a, a really very short-lived doctor. I wanted to, I wanted to read a couple of these comments because I, this, this goes to, all you caretakers out there, you need to, you, you know, I know there's so much humility and I know that there's so much strength and um, for X and I, a lot of that is through faith and hope and, and our belief and our belief in Heavenly Father and, and that, that we're going through this for, for so much bigger, right? That, that he's got the picture the full picture, we don't, and quite honestly, the silver linings, no one, no one, that's where the the prize is, right? When you have chose to walk through the thickest, you know, thorns, the silver linings are just incredible, but, um, so, um, fight when and survive says, you both are blessed. Words of wisdom. Police stepped in for me, and I asked her to expound if she wanted, and she said, not everyone can handle our conditions and react with abuse, neglect, starvation, etc. Mm-hmm. Now, that makes me, that makes me, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know of other people and that have just been left left not even one woman she she didn't even know how she was bed bound she didn't know how she was going to get her meds the next day because it was such a sudden i'm out but but what i'm reading you know here from fight when survive it sounds like that's been a part of her story and i i cannot say sorry enough yeah, he's deserving of that. No, oh, man. You know, would it be uh, hey, well. easier right, to get up and walk away and be on your own? Right. For some, maybe. But could I fathom that idea? Absolutely not. Right. I mean, kind of the same realm of before I had kids, you know, I would look at the, the parents and walk away and, and I could say, well, that's sad. You know, I can, I can look at those, those types of videos where the parents are gone, whether it be the military or whatever, and it's, wow, that's sad. After I had kids, it's like that's unfathomable how you could walk away from that situation. And I, and I don't mean those rare ones where, you know, people don't have a choice, but yeah. to, to, when you do have that choice, you make that, that choice to walk away from that person. You know, if I walked away and said, oh, well, you know, that's not the life I signed up for. Mm-hmm. How, how am I going to live with myself and, and how do you ask write? people to respect me as a person 
when yeah. I just yeah some of, some of the thoughts that I've had along those lines is and it's also important because we're talking a lot about you know commitment and you know in good times and in bad and things like that but but you know make no mistake that that's not all that that helps to join uh you know the love and being in love with someone and and, and, and being a family and, and, and you know not losing sight of, of trying to make sure that you you have a relationship much more than just the caretaking dynamic that, that gets introduced and and you know we're not here i don't think either of us are here to pretend that we have arrived and we have got that figured out and um in fact quite the opposite i think it's interesting that you know one of the first people that i felt like i've felt started representing the coming together of of people and communities and things was when we had that whole dynamic of what happened with Misty, right? Where she had asked for that video to be sent to Nell and, and, and I do edit it and so forth. But this is the first time that I've ever met anybody like Anthony, like you. Right, yeah. And I started to get emotional in that. But, and that's a big part of the equation here is that, of course, it's those that are suffering that are at the focus of it. Um, but there's, you know, the not only the caretakers, but the, the, the kids. And there's so many people that are kind of involved in, in, in having an interest of, of this. And I'll say one other thing in that I, I don't like the idea, and one is the... One, and one of the things that can start even within families, like we're talking about, you start that, you talk about that challenging of ideas, but we're not a victim. You know, so many people, I think, think of and mistakenly think of, oh, poor caretaker, you know, I mean, your, your life could be this way or that way. And, you know, you, you know, what, what is that like to, to just have your life be? change so differently and you know oh my gosh you know poor take your you know and it, i i absolutely would ask for people to challenge that mindset i know that you would agree hopefully agree with me oh, yeah. that, no, that we don't want that kind of a reaction i mean to have a have a a, a respect and, and to esteem us and to to have that be part of of, of why you think highly of us okay fine but, you know, have it also be tempered with, you know, they're not just a victim and, and, and just hanging on because it's all that they, you know, got. I mean, it, it's a, almost an insult to, to Nell and, and Courtney and, and all that they bless us with our lives. And, Absolutely. And, and so um, I know that um, society, however – we and others, uh, you know, make progress with anything that is deserving of, of, of change, you know, whether that's with what, you know, even, you know, Martin Luther King with what he did with, with the you know, racism and stuff like that. I mean, there, there are a lot of some of these things that we're talking about that you, that you might think, well, that, that just goes without saying, you know, if you had a conversation with the kids and that's one of the reasons why, why, you know, children are just, you know, the, 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 the purity of the earth is that they don't have these kind of corrupted, you know, ideologies uh, about things. Um, but we we're not naive in, in thinking that that even people that are open to it initially may have reactions of victim caretaker, lazy, chronic person. You know, I mean, just right off the bat, and. For those that are experiencing that, don't beat yourself up, right? I mean, just acknowledge that that's part of what uh, being conditioned in society uh, Absolutely. includes. Absolutely. And those, those thoughts, those ideas, that's, that's natural. Right? Yeah. I mean, figure out what's best. Don't be, you know, in, with any type of thing, whether, you know, it goes a lot to do with like depression and stuff don't be afraid to, to talk about it to, yeah. to ask for something 
opinion to, to reach out if, if you need that help, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's hard on everybody and, and make yeah. sure that, that all parties are, that are, are okay, but don't, like you said, don't take on that victim mentality and beat yourself up about it. But at the same time, don't let, you know, don't let somebody put it on you either. Exactly. Um, you know, because we do hear that a lot. Wow, it must be really hard on you. Well, yeah, well, it, 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 everything can be worse, right? And, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm blessed to, to, to have my family uh, and my health. And not everybody is, is the same way. And so we do what we have to do to, to keep moving through our life and keep keep up with our family and keep going. And yeah. Like you said, you know, I don't I don't feel like I'm doing anything special and you mm-hmm. know somebody praise me, but, but I don't I definitely don't like the, oh, the other I, side of it. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. For yeah, me. somewhere yeah. in between, right? You're, you're not the yeah. victim of poor me, have pity for me. Uh, and 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 though and and Bell, right? I mean, it can go both ways, and that people, you know, might decide to have pity, and it's not deserving for either of us. Um, but uh, but yeah, you're right in that you also don't want you know excessive accolades, right? It's like no, don't be, you know, putting some you know savior kind of you know, you know aura over me. What I've got a question for you. What what's something that you do when you fall short? Of, of that right and you, you have that moment where it's like hey it's it's one thing to talk about something that it's still dear to do your heart and, you, and you're not being a hypocrite and saying absolutely i i i uh want that and want to be that and i'm putting that out there but you know when you're practicing it right just like with any principle in life you know you're, you're not going to be living up to it perfectly right i mean that's the whole idea of like grace and, and, and our beliefs why christ you know came to, to earth to to help us when we we're falling short because we can't just do it all on, on our own what what do you do in those moments where you know you failed courtney and you know yeah like so obviously you know pray about it meditate about it think about it but we also have a really good support system in our family um a what you know, I'm, I'm lucky, very lucky to have a very good relationship with um, my, with my parents, but also my mom and dad. And, you know, I've, I've had long conversations with them and, and you know, talk about things and have that understanding, you know, of them, but they're not firsthand. And, and, you know, sometimes it just simply helps to physically talk it out, whether they're giving their advice or not. And, and, Right. just listen to yourself say certain things and, and kind of get more understanding of, well, that it might have been better this way or this way, or maybe I can help you this way and, and get that out. So we are lucky to have that, that support system. Oh, really? Family. Okay. So even extended beyond your family, you feel like that, you know, having conversations and having that be part of, you know, yeah, hey, guys, all of us are doing a number of things that, that are wrong and, and, and that are hurting each other and that we need to do better. And, and so just having that space, that healthy space out there of just admitting that rather than kind of carrying a, you know, this shame syndrome is helps kind of create more of that foundation of just healthy conversation. Is that what you mean? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, you know, there's, there's been times where, you know, it, maybe we've, argued a little bit about a certain situation or I didn't accept it enough or something, whatever the case may have been, right? right? To, to just take that time to go and sit back and think, well, you know, I said something this way or you said something this way. And, uh, that's, that's life, right? That's marriage. It's a relationship. Yeah. That's whatever. And communication. Just, you know, that communication. Mm-hmm. And, and to, but it, it definitely, in my uh Aspect. It helps to be able to sit back and, and like I just talk those situations out. Um, that that took some learning, you know. That took some time on yeah. both of them. Uh, somebody wasn't always the best communicator. <laughs> <laughs> I I am the inferior communicator in our relationship, and and I I struggle with just spending the time and really 
vocalizing what I'm needing to and doing it in a way that is not just to talk just for the sake of talking, but to have it be, you know, and it doesn't matter how busy life is to just kind of have those moments where you just slow down and you recognize that that, that speaks volumes when you do that. And, and that's something I struggle with. Is it something that you've struggled with as well? Well, really quick, my perspective yeah. too is Rex has more, his life's become more busy, right? Because he has his job. He's trying to um, continually trying to do his schooling. And, you know, he's got, he's got other, a lot of other things going on. And then he helps me. And then my life, in a lot of ways, has just gone just really slowed down like somebody just stopped the record player and so I have a lot of time to ponder about a lot while well, he's going 100 miles an hour it's yeah, not even good. in the middle sometimes yeah think of, think of um, it's interesting that you make that dynamic because there are some things that are a little bit easier to adapt and kind of adjust because you know there's a lot of at least commonality, not only because you guys love each other and you kind of have, you know, similarities that have caused for you to be attractive to each other to begin with, but, but you just, it comes a little bit more natural to kind of, you know, work through some things. But imagine if you were like on like a Olympic, you know, course, right. Or something. And you've got some person that's, you know, running fast or whatever and, and and their job is to you know every time they do that rap try to do a, a baton toss or, right you know or or, or, or handoff and the, the team member isn't in a position where they're whether it's speed that you want to liken that to or any other kind of an example you can imagine how you'd have to really hone in on that on those moments of handoff with that baton you'd have to kind of change your dynamic yeah yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. otherwise otherwise you're gonna you're gonna crash and burn and lose and 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 yeah, fail and, you know, there's not no skipping into the sunset yeah we're tripping into the sunset and that's yeah. gotta be we're tripping now you yeah know? and that has to be okay and find humor in it yeah exactly find, you know that leads me to the next question that I I always like to think about with yeah, with, uh, with, <laughs> with You can hear it in the tone. I know. She's like, that gets me thinking. <laughs> um, I love you now. <laughs> um, just kind of, so my family will gather and you're, our favorite thing to do is laugh about quite honestly nothing. Or we laugh at each other. Mm -hmm. Or... But what has date nights become mm -hmm. for you? Because that it can be for for us when it's something as simple as playing next to each other, just playing a little video game, and video game. while we're playing, and then just laughing our guts out. Yeah, that That's is more like priceless than anything. Our date nights are especially because of them cutting off my IVI me being bed down. Yeah. We're sitting in the bed and watching our favorite show and laughing our heads I off. I love it. Or yeah. getting on TikTok and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch this video. <laughs> or, yeah. Oh I'm gonna watch this video. And I'm just over here hysterically laughing because that's that's who I am. And he's yeah. just yeah. and that's another thing that I I love the fact that people not just that you're on live and that the fact that we record it and some people that are currently following us will go watch it, but we don't know how many people are going to be able to go. You know, Nell talks about how we want to have more, on, you know, subscribe to YouTube and do live for YouTube. So I, one of the things that I hope that they see here that I think also challenges um, what people might feel uncomfortable or awkward about and, all of it results in the default action that I believe is that they'll just avoid. They just kind of distance. It's something that they don't understand, something they don't want to get wrong, don't want to make, be embarrassed if they are thinking something wrong about something. But there is so much to your guys' point that's just normal. You yeah. know, you know, laughs or guts out. You know, we'll, we'll have movie night. You know, we'll have some awesome grub brought in. 
you know. Um, our kids, right? You know, <laughs> we're not dead. We're not dead. You guys met our kids. They're all older. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those moms that just, I should get several awards, but I'm sad. I have a book. <laughs> I have a book. I will catch them if they say something, say they're just saying a sentence and one of the words is wrong, or they, I have a book of what my kids say wrong, because it just makes me laugh so hard, and now we all point each other out. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> our oldest daughter, her her boyfriend finally moved here to Utah, and I'm so, so glad he's here. He's caught on real quick. So yeah. like, yeah, just fine. <laughs> But what yeah. my favorite things to do is just like this. Okay, I'll tell you a little story real quick about our daughter Abby. I don't know if Abby's still on here, but I think she is. Oh, bless her heart. What's up, Antonio? Um, so she was carrying upstairs. Well, the main mom that I am, I was like, you can carry this case of water upstairs. It's your case of water, you know, because so we have a mini fridge up here. Uh -huh. And you you go right on ahead because because my head wasn't gonna have it right right so she's she I, I think she was a sophomore ju junior in high school at the time and she's like mom you know my arms are the weakest part and I'm like ah that's fine I'm behind you if you fall back I got you well it took a hot minute to get up the stairs so that <laughs> alone was hilarious. <laughs> but she, you know, finally gets up into the room and just drops this big case of water. With it, she too dropped. And she's leaning back with her, you know, uh, her hand running across her forehead, leaning back. <laughs> and she says, oh, I'm so exotic. <laughs> I dropped and peed. I dropped and peed. I uh, did not. I did not. <laughs> That is why. Do you see that? Why I have a journal of what they say. <laughs> transfer wheelchairs where you don't have the big wheels and yeah. so have some more pushing you. So one of my favorite things to do is we would go in some place where it would be a restaurant. It didn't matter. And I'd go push her in the corner and just walk away. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Some of the shock looks I would get like, did he really just push yeah. her? Yeah. <laughs> Courtney's just sitting there knowing what you're doing, probably just like, all right. I'm just like, how long this one lasts? Sitting me right now. <laughs> but well, I finally got a wheelchair that I can I can move myself. So yeah. Can... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. See, that is what. Those are the moments that you just you you would miss out on yeah. if you decided <laughs> to miss out on it. Yeah. Well, and just like anything else in life, families come in all different forms. Yeah. And and the same principles of inclusion and what you do in situation, you know, whether you want to liken that to, you know, people go to all sorts of different kinds of religious congregations and maybe that is family oriented there or there's family oriented where they're all going and supporting you know, kids that are in concerts. I mean, you can't get away from the fact that that there's um, 
people that are surrounding you that maybe have more of a full family and the conditions of a family um, circumstances that you would maybe even want yourself. Um, there's different situations that has led uh, to you know why that might not be the, the case, some of which might be because of choice, some, some not. And you want to talk about what I think is the most tender underlying um, goal with all of this is for not just this, where there's couples and there's you know children and, and that's important, absolutely, you know, family. But for for those that have been married, maybe have been separated or divorced, or for that you've never been married, or um, you know, maybe some of the conditions that you are going through have been part of that's that's caused you to be single um, or that you feel have been a part that's kind of ostracized you from being able to date or, or you just feel alone. And even if you're feeling a degree of connecting with people more than you have, which, um, you know, I, I know that at least uh, one of the individuals that's really impressed me fight win and survive that's in here. And she's been, very vocal about some of the differences even within this group of similarity that's unique to right. to to her that we have and the last thing that I would ever want in the success of people coming together is for them to feel like they're on the out the outskirts of the outskirts. No right. that's why you know what I mean? That's why this That's is what we're doing. Yeah. We're trying to oh, bring oh, yeah. everybody together so no. that we can figure it out. That's right. That's right. That's exactly what the point is to all of this. Yeah. Yeah. This is not about, you know, having uh, kind of a community and then this having this a family. Yeah, and then having us have the same challenges that any group and community has, which is you know, whether you want to call it a minority or among the diversity or whatever, there's that tendency for people to, even if it's just in their, their own feelings of feeling like that they're they're excluded, right? Or that they're not among the mainstream of what's now connecting. And I just want that to put that out there, especially uh, for you. I forget, I'm sorry, I don't have the name. Fight, fight, win, and survive. Yeah. I keep telling her that's such an awesome name. I can't imagine just saying it as raw as it can. I can't imagine being alone among the people feeling alone. Uh, and I so appreciate you just Goodness. saying it. Yeah. Because right. it's uh, nothing for you to be ashamed of. Yeah. You are more more amazing because of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Just, just keep going. Yeah. Whether someone's picking you up or not. Well, and you're a leader. You're, 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 you're a, there's no question that you're a leader. I mean, and, and hopefully you feel instead of that 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 risk of I feel alone among the people that feel alone, that you feel that the opposite. I mean, especially even more so individuals under those circumstances. I want you to know that the interesting thing and what is the opposite of a corrupt society, which I know that we would want to embrace, is the most pure sense is that that you're at the center. Of it, not at the absolute. Those people that that are needing of, of of more of the goodness of concentration, you know, your your Julie Morgans, your 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 fight, win, survive. You guys are at the center. Then we surround you, and I hope that you feel that way. I hope that you feel that way. Absolutely. So, what are some fun things that you, as a family, especially so? Our kids were pretty young. They, they, like my son had said, from as far back as he can remember, I, they, I, it would take four of their little hands to hold my head. They'd right. squeeze my little hands, my not my little head. They'd squeeze their little hands on my head as hard as they could to to give me that counter pressure. Uh, but um, so yeah, they they understand. Um, at least to some degree, 
you know, what your sweet boys are going through. Oh, what yeah, are some yeah, of the yeah. things that you love to do as a family or that you would suggest? Yeah, that, that's helped your kids. Yeah, perfect. You know, um, let them be involved, um, you know, with simple things. If I need to get her a drink, if I need to get, you know, an ice pack or something, let them be involved. In it. And, you know, my kids are young enough that, that those little things like that, like, oh, I'm, I'm getting the help I'm, versus just, yes. oh, don't do the, you know, don't, you don't push them away and shut them away and make no. them think that I can't do this, I can't help you, you know, let them think. Those little things are big victories. And, totally and, agree. Yeah. That's critical to them, I think. Yeah, because they don't, they don't, even if they're involved, even if they're involved, they can't judge whether, hey, did that really help or not, Mom? You're right. Right, yeah. And I'm, I try to make it a huge deal. If they bring me an ice pack, I put it on my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes me feel so much better. Or my oh, youngest. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very, very affectionate child, and he, every night before bed now, he gives me a hug at night because he knows night times are the worst for me, and he'll oh. say, Mom, does that make you feel better? Does oh. that make you feel better? And I'm like, absolutely. Your hugs always make my pain feel better, baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is... But I'm trying to explain, I mean, it's, it's hard to explain to a six-year-old to an eight-year-old what's going on in my body and what's not working but like the other day my son's foot went numb and he, he was like it's tingling and I'm like that's what mommy's like feels like all the time oh, that's, yeah. uh, so the, finding the opportunities to kind of right. c- connect to explain to him why I'm hurting or what's going on or I mean just just try to explain it to him. And even Anthony tries to when I have the migraine, he's like, her head, I'm like, it feels like there's a vice grip on my head. And then Anthony has to explain it into a kid version. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But but the inclusion, both of you are saying the, the same yeah. thing, and mm-hmm. that's how we raise our kids. The inclusion mm-hmm. is so important. And to try to explain to them the best that you can, this is what's going on so that they are not feeling that they're part of the problem because they can come to that conclusion really quick. Uh, You know, I don't ever want them sitting there going, I I can't go in there because it's going to bother mommy. I'm going to hurt mommy. They want to go in there and spend time with her. If they want to go help, they want to bring her this, that, and the other, you know, to to make them know that that helps. And let, like you said, let them be included in Every aspect of it. Yeah. You know, it actually I, diffuses. Oh, go. Is it easier to say, oh, yeah, we're just going to the doctor. It's, you know, don't worry about it. Sure. But why? You know, even though they don't necessarily understand it, explain what we're doing just, just so they feel more involved. Exactly. It diffuses stress when people yeah. have a, a better footing of kind of what to expect. And, and, it, and they don't have to understand a lot of it. You know, just. Just having a moment, even if it's uh, a, from a child's experience, where you go from "I don't, I can't understand mommy" to "Oh, I get that." It just helps them feel less stressed about it. Just right. you know, just and a little win like that. I was in the hospital at six days at a time. My son would be like, "Oh, you're gonna be gone for six days. Like, oh, I can't wait to get home this time. I'm only gonna be home this time. I'm only gonna be three." And I'll be back. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anxiety got a lot less the longer my treatments went. Like, he knew, okay, it's coming time for my treatment. Yeah. And then now, okay, mommy's coming home today. So it it seems to help them with their anxiety. A lot. Yeah. If I'm having a bad pain day and they need to give me a hug to go get to tonight. I'm like, easy, easy, and they'll, they'll hug me really easy because yeah. they know I think it's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's just trying to explain to them what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, because they're tuning in more than we think. Yeah. Kids are, are always more brilliant than we think. So they're tuning in. So it's our 
our job, I think, to to just respect how much how much they are into and to come to them and speak honestly the best that we can. Yeah, and if they have any questions, I always tell them, ask me. If you want to know what something is, ask me. If I you want to try, like, I have a bunch of migraines and, like, little contraptions that I try to use. Yeah. And my son, my oldest, loves to try them out. He's like, is this how you do it, Mom? Aww. I'm like, yeah, I that. So he'll try it out for me. Like, I think it's just them knowing that that's not going to hurt me or that will help me. Yeah. That has helped out tremendously. Or he'll, he'll even hold my hand when I'm doing, you know, walking from one place to another because my balance isn't very good. Oh, that's and sweet. I'll put my hand on his head or his shoulders and he'll walk really slowly. Like, they're, they're oh. getting oh, so amazing at this helping me out stage that it's 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 crazy to see them grow up. It makes me sad. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you one thing real quick. Um, I because my my kids are so wonderful to constantly remind me of this, especially on hard days. They always remind me that I don't get emotional here because it's really easy for us to. You know, we, at least for me, I beat myself up more than anybody else does. Yeah. But they constantly remind me, it is because we were raised in this environment. And, and that, that we have the empathy, the sympathy, the love for others that we do, and they are amazing human beings. And your little yeah. boys are already there. Imagine when they are men. Imagine the gift that the world is going to have when those two men are walking the earth. When they are men. Because they, they're experiencing something that is not just something that's rare, but it's beautiful in its own way. And it's an honor. Yeah, I... I think that to Mel's point recently, I've uh, did a couple of things. One, I don't think that I've given enough thought because we're talking about some of the initial next steps with some of these things of the consequence and the impact that it's going to have on next generations, right? And, um and just like anything that is worth being involved in, it has a trickling effect that that uh, for for our short time being in, involved um, has just really you know taken off. How did you how did you even become aware of, for example, the TikTok purple? I mean. Did you know Misty? I don't even, I don't even think I've ever even asked you that. Actually, my husband uh, saw Misty's video and sent it to me. Okay. And then um, that's when I messaged her. And okay. I think that's how I got involved. But like for the past three years, I've been trying to get involved in something and trying to put wow. it there because it's, it's such a taboo um topic yeah yeah, yeah talk about it, but everybody everybody has their own opinion about it yeah so, yeah it's, but it's, it's something you've been looking for yeah yeah, yeah definitely oh. definitely now, i'll share i'll share a little bit that's okay now i'm going to share a little bit of what was a kind of a sacred experience if, if i can um with you guys yeah. um i this this weekend this last weekend um 
some of you know kind of the place that I've kind of been with, you know, Heavenly Father and and some of the kind of the anger and just not being kind of reconciled in a lot of things and feeling like things are in vain and stuff. I think that's really common among the people in the community. Um, and and so so number one, putting that out there that that uh, let's not get bogged down with the shame of being human and normal with that. Secondly, it's been a while that I've kneeled down and, and, and prayed sincerely uh, where I really put myself out there feeling vulnerable um, and, and, and have faith, put, put faith in, in God and, and, and what is happening on the other side of the veil. And a lot of that has been not so much because I haven't had, you know, faith or know that there's things that are deserving of having faith and trust in, but I, I didn't want to set myself up for just such disappointment. You know, I didn't want to put my, my put faith in something and then just have it just be disappointed. And I think that's also common, uh, not just within the pain community of why sometimes choices are hard to be made by faith and to walk by faith. We want to have answers. We want to have knowledge, you know, this kind of thing. And so I was praying and I just, I was brought to, to tears and, and I, 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 you know, tried to resist my logical part of me that wanted to kind of understand some of the answers to questions and, 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 and to know, you know what's going to happen from this. And, and are we going to really be able to you know, reach out to people that are struggling or is this just, you know, am I bordering just kind of being you know, a little delusional about, about the fact that that dream could, could happen and, um, and, and help make that become a reality for now and to continue even, you know, take this legacy and, and all of our interests in, in that. And um, shortly after that, um, you know, we solidified more so than we did with you and your family. We, um, booked with good thing, you know, good, good things, Utah and, and, uh, started, uh, continued communications with that we're getting closer with, with, uh, with Nathan Osmond yeah. and, and things. And so I can tell you about it. I, the shift was for me and I mentioned this before. Something's, yeah, something's happening. The you shift guys, for me. So. The shift for me, because I wanted to do, much like Courtney talks about, we, 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 this is something that's been on our minds, and we, I think we all, you know, you get beat down hard enough with something, it's easier to see your blessings. It's, it's really beautiful process, but, um, but wanting to reach out to others, a lot of us have kind of shared that same thing. Mm -hmm. Where I just decided that's enough. I'm not going to keep waiting. Some days I'll be on camera. Some days I won't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter anymore. That's when little Tate was born. Our nephew's son who had a crab egg and who just passed away last week. He taught me so quickly and with such intensity and with clearly without words, he passed away at 50 months old. But there was something that our souls communicated and he was, he taught me, don't you wait for a day. Thing. Right. Don't you wait for anything to be perfect. It's not going to be, but what, 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 what can be so beautiful should not be pushed aside anymore. And that's why I call in my wingman because I, not only did he teach me so much, but he, you know, we had similar pain with our nerves. We, you know, every time they mentioned a new medication he was on, I was like, oh, that's what I'm on. Oh, that's what I'm on. Oh, I've been on that, you know. And so, I felt someone come into my life that was 
I know that was one of his missions. Yeah. To just kind of say, you know, enough's enough. You know, you you can't wait for you to feel better because that might not ever happen. Yeah. You can't wait for, you know, and man, I felt pain like I did in so many years the day he he mm -hmm. passed. So I just felt like I don't know. I don't yeah. know. It was just a huge, huge loss. But I know that he's he's even more near now and he can do so much more. But um, that's where for me, that's where the shift happened and then I started talking to Rex. Because I started to try my own YouTube channel. I could not do it. I could not do it because I'm becoming more and more weak uh, um, as time mm -hmm. goes on. And um, Rex just kind of, you know, it will, it, it's because of this little perfect little spirit that came and joined the world for 15 months. And he's already changed so much of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And you know, I can tell you, um, I remember when all of this first started happening with Court. Um yeah. I see, you know, the questions of why me came into her mind. Yes. And I can remember her saying, you know, maybe this is God's plan for me to take on this burden so that I can learn about it, I can talk about it, I can help people understand when they're going through it. Yes. And so for y'all, Rex, enough for y'all to say that um, you know, the the thoughts of, is it worth to do something like this and then you jump in, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, there's your answer. It's it's worth it. I mean, yeah. Courtney has her, her reason to talk about it, um, you know, through y'all. And, and found this platform of, in the very beginning, you know, two years ago, maybe I'm supposed to talk about this, and it never came, it never came, and it never came. So if you ever think that, was this something we really should have done, I, I, I can tell you that, to a testament, that, that there's your answer. Um, you know, we, we found you all because you made the choice. Oh, and man helping us and others get, get that voice out to these things that are going on. So, that has, thank you. That means the absolute world. That, that is amazing, man. It it is me. Like, y'all don't know how much... <laughs> I'm not a crier, <laughs> but yes, yes. you don't know <laughs> how much <laughs> it meant to me to know that there's somebody else going through what I'm going through. Yeah. And for me, the same doubts, the same insecurities, the same pain, the same frustrations. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's so crazy that, because I thought I was alone. I, I didn't know anybody that was going through this. I'm the only one in my family that has it. I'm the only one. And then whenever I found uh, Facebook and TikTok, I'm like, I'm not alone. I'm not, right. I need to get out there, you know? And Courtney, you, you're powerful. Uh, very um, much a leader. The, I, this will not be the last time we have you on, that's for sure. You are a powerhouse, yeah. and love you. we are the ones that are blessed by you, too, and um, both of you both of you, because I know Rex absolutely needed to be able to talk. I you feel know, the to, weight. Yeah. I feel the weight of the word. I don't to think you're ever going to. You, know? you probably won't ever be able to understand what I can't vocalize in terms of what's gone on inside of me. I mean, I've, I've gone years and years and years and years. And even though I've had my girls and my son and, and Julie and others that have really been in and, and, and close family, even them haven't been able to understand uh, what I'm going through and, and going and 
and understand that in a way that's still avoiding the victim thing that we talked about and the over uh, uh, com uh, compliments, right? So don't think you know too, too highly of me. Um, but also just kind of having grace of, um, you know, forgiving me too when I, when I don't get it right. And I absolutely, for years, even among people that have all sorts of problems, have had a deep, deep loneliness and had wondered if there was anybody that could really say, you know, that they understand. So what a immediate kinship connection, my friend. And yes, I just absolutely. Really appreciate you sharing what you have and, and understanding all the complexities of what we've talked about here today. Yeah, you're pretty amazing. You really he is. are. He is pretty amazing. He is. He's a, you're a humble, humble guy, and I admire you for that, but just please allow us to just shower you with that, because honestly, there's not enough you and Rexes out there. There's not right. enough, there's not enough kindness, support, and I'm going to, I'm going to be the one that believes you. I'm going to be the one that fights with you. I'm going to be the one that holds you. Then it's, there's not enough. Right. Not even worse. So you, yeah. you guys are special. Thank you for for everything. Thank you sincerely. Absolutely. And like I said, thank you. Thank you for, for you know, if there ever was that that little doubt is of is this worth it? Know that it truly was to, it, and it is, and it, and it will be to continue having that voice. Um, yeah. Just. Uh, you definitely helped us find that voice to get oh. this problem sorted. Oh, man. Thank you for saying that. Cause Absolutely. We've, we've been hit hard by a couple people this last week. So, uh, yeah, it was a blow. Pretty hard blow. So, mm -hmm. and you have to kind of, I'm not sure. just saying, you know, some people, it's for whatever reason, react to, um, partially and we have to constantly all of us because this is a group thing we have to constantly remember what this is about um i've said this before i will not this is i i just can't i can't afford for there to be someone to come on and say something stupid or attacking or i i i won't tolerate it not one little bit because we just do not have the luxury of going back and forth with somebody like that. Not when people are yeah. spending their, their all, every breath trying to just live. No. Yeah. And we don't have the time. No. I don't, I don't, I don't have time for that. We do not. Nobody got time. I'm trying to get enough energy to brush my teeth. I don't got time for <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love when Courtney yeah. posts a thumb minute in the life because yeah. it's always like, yep, yep, every time, yep. When are you going to tell us about your dog? Oh, yeah. um, okay, so I'm super excited about this. Um, I have been looking for, I have a famous dog, but he is a miniature uh, tool and terrier poodle. Oh, and, and, Probably about five pounds, and he's a really, really good service dog. But my house just went down, and I'm pretty much in the wheelchair, so I need help like going up ramps, opening doors, um, doing deep pressure, chronic pain, and stuff like that. And he just doesn't weigh enough to be able to do that. Okay. So the past probably six months, I've been with her. Um, I've been researching different types of dogs and different breeders and just pretty much talking to everybody, trying to find the perfect breeder that would work with me to do a temperament test and let me pick out my own dog and not just pick it out from a picture. And yeah. um, I finally found her Friday or 
Wednesday when I was at my doctor's appointment, she messaged me and was like, I'm keeping all these stuff, these mails. You you get the first pick of mails. You come and do your So what are some main things he's going to be able to help with? Hey, they're yes. part of the community here, you know? Yeah, give him, 
uh, rex.nil at gmail.com. Never so, mind, I put in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so anybody can send, that's, a, that's an email that we've created just for people that want to be considered to, to be on. To do what Courtney's doing, right? Yeah, to do what Courtney's doing. So that's, that's rex.nil at gmail.com. And, and, and next week. And, and, Set it on our channel, but honestly, you guys, um, I think Laurel asked, has Rex? Oh, at the past. Page back? Not no. yet. Yeah, almost. It's till the, through the we, 28th. We had it for 20 minutes, and they took it down again. That is so... So we don't, don't know. Yeah. If any of you have any clue as to what we're doing, because he doesn't get any responses. We, I don't well, know yeah. what we're doing. I... Because we would definitely, I would jeopardize this training. I've had multiple people that don't, it's just like her and her kid. There's one lady that's just, just her and her kid, and they just do dance videos and um, it might have been lives, and they blocked her. Yeah, it so, might have been because we had many. Maybe. Yeah, I think that they uh, might be. Our little, our little yeah. grandbaby. I think that it might be that we had our grandbaby. Can you guys still hear me? Can you yeah. get? You, you, but okay. They, but they said that we that we there were several that we did several things. Um, it's that that's that's TikTok that that's happening. Uh, fight and 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 sometimes yeah. my sometimes my earpiece that's usually echoing throughout the time it just changes and it's and I wonder if the audio went down. If somebody that's on the the live uh through tiktok uh you know maybe fight uh fight win and survive can you just confirm that you can hear the audio okay um, yeah anthony can hear you yeah okay um but yeah i mean i i think that that's probably what it is is that it's something that you'd think is um you know pretty pretty innocent like having you know a kid up there while we're, we did, did the live or, or something oh, so because, because the 20 minutes they gave us to post to post, it was gone again. I don't know. Yeah, what what, so what they ought to do is... Um, what we ought to do is go to YouTube like I keep wanting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going <laughs> to... No, I love TikTok for so many reasons, but... Hey, the, everybody's going to Instagram too because you can do drool, or you can do up to four people in one live. Yeah, 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 yeah so... I mean, well, the, we we want to start doing uploads of yeah. behind the scenes, our life, especially if I'm going into surgery anytime soon. We kind of want to start being a lot more open that way, and that yeah. that's where that's going to happen. Yeah, she, once I get to interact yeah. with you guys, even after the live is done over there, which is which would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's almost lived out, and we'll be careful with Minnie. Uh, uh, there's been some times when we've just kind of played with her here uh, yeah, on the live. I think it's the end, the 28th that ends. Yeah. So and and I, I mean, I would like to see them have some something in place where you know you're you're informed of the specific, and then you acknowledge, oh, okay, won't do that again, and then they lift it or something, yeah, that's right? All you know, or just. Asked. That's all just that us, there's so there's some potential reason. that they I think that they need to quite frankly do that with their lives as well. People will get banned on their lives even just for maybe really? just saying hello, and then and then they you know you hear the buzz of people going to really? clapper and different things. And so you know there's a lot of great. I don't mean I don't want to have I any ill will to TikTok. To yeah, say. it's just that I, I think that for people that innocently are wanting to just do good on here and. Yeah. That then if they if they get put into a you know a situation like that, that there be some kind of mechanism where they can learn specifically what it was, acknowledge, oh okay, I'm, I won't do that. I'll be more careful, and then it just immediately lifts or whatever, right? Like a warning or something. Right. Not have them yeah. be penalized for like you know a week or something to not be able to connect with people that they're otherwise doing good with, you know, or whatever. Right. So yeah, at least we have our we did have not daughter I'm sorry. You had to. What was? What did sorry, you say? Sorry, I was I was responding to Laurel. I, we did have our granddaughter on. Yeah. 
uh, turn TikTok purple day we had around yeah. there. Yeah, that's probably what it was. For a minute. Which was, how long ago was well, that? Well, and then I post the video. I post the, the clipped video showing some highlights of it, and it showed her in well, that. We, you know, so. And we got permission from their parents, and we do little videos of her anyway. Well, yeah, and I don't know how they detect it, right? I mean, I don't think that anybody that's following us is going to be like, oh, they're putting kids, you know? So I don't know what I don't know yeah. whether there's an algorithm that detects it. I don't know, but but we'll be careful. You know, we don't want to. Hey, we're we're Corey, trying to follow there, the rules here. I want to ask Corey, is there anything else? So do you remember me mentioning Amy's life or Chronically Amy? She has two channels on YouTube, and she has um, Ehlers Downloads, and then she has like I think it's POS. You call it? Yeah. Where, it, it, anyway, she she has been in the hospital, I want to say, for the last two months. Had a few heart attacks. She's oh my just God. in her 20s. Um, just hanging on, hanging on for dear life. Um, yeah. But look, go look. Her, you'll, that's another instant, to follow, someone instant to follow. friend you will have. Yeah, yeah. I think, and, that, I think I did reach out to her after um, TikTok per, or turn TikTok purple night. Yeah. Um, yeah, she probably she's in, she's been in ICU. Oh, okay. So yeah, just, yeah. Even I'll just look up some of her uh, YouTube posts. You'll just I just know that you'll you know how so often that we all kind of go yep 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 that's what you'll be doing. Yeah, and that's why I started that whole a minute in the life. I know, I love it. Yeah, I love it because I want people to understand it. Might it? It's gonna take me forty five minutes to take a shower. I, the shower. I, I one, was dumbfounded. The shower one was the I was best shocked. one for me. Yeah, I was shocked. <laughs> and rent. Yeah, I'm like, well, what was it? Go for, showering. Good night. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk. And you can, and when you said you were, you, you were, when you were shaking, you were yeah. shaky after. That's exactly how I feel. It takes so much exertion to just, yeah. and you have to stop and go, okay, the legs. Yeah. Okay, the hair. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then you get out and you're just standing there thinking about like the crap you to I don't know if I can walk to the bed. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can make this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to drip dry because now I have the energy to tell Brian. Right. <laughs> just stand behind me and catch me if I fall. <laughs> yeah. That one, I was just like, you got me. And it, I think it was just a day after I showered. Mm. I know people, I'm not gross. I know how to take care of myself, but I don't shower every day. I can't. Plus, my yeah. hair, it's too dry. I live in Utah. It's just a dry climate. I can't shower every day. Right. But don't I, worry. Your girl's clean. Calm down. <laughs> I am. I, I'm the same way, but I'm, I'm like, and a lot of people are like, aren't you wearing the same shirt in the same video for two weeks? I'm Who like, cares? no. I'll do like 20 videos at one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And honestly. Yeah, I felt good enough I to do my do, drafts, who right? Who cares? Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, goodness grief. I, it's just interesting because I, I think that, you know, we, we don't, we didn't talk a whole lot about that, but I guess some of it goes without saying is that, you know, your priorities change, right? Uh -huh. I mean, it's like, wow, you know, and that doesn't make, it doesn't make, you know, anybody better than, than the other. I, I know no, I, I, no, I, I continually try to say that because when well, you, when you're giving yourself permission as an individual, as a couple, as a family, mm -hmm. as a group, when you give yourself permission to feel better about yourself because of, of, of some choices that you're doing and what you're doing and good in the world, yeah. there's, there's yeah. a degree of risk that I think goes with that, yeah. that, that it's somehow self-righteous, right? Or superior. And, and, yeah. and, and so I just try to periodically want to buffer that with that and that, I believe that you can do and contribute to doing 
good in the world, especially in areas that are really needing of it, and that it can be done in a way that you don't have to get caught up in the fame or the acknowledgement or, oh, you're just more special or, you know, you know, we're the ones that are the ones that are getting esteemed while the ones that are under these circumstances but still in our group aren't, you no, know, and all this kind of stuff. You, know? you guys know we've mentioned it time and time again. That's why we put the word suffer in there. Yeah. Because, yeah. because that applies to human beings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, well, we get, we get to touch on a lot of things. I'm so excited to have Miss a couple of my brothers on. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, all of our kids have, I think, want to be on, and they've the things that they've really struggled with in life, and and that they can right. speak to some of the younger audience as well with things that they're dealing with. It's it's yeah. It just we are just all trying to create a safe space to just live, just yeah, let each other live. But while we're, I want to, before I want to, do you want to, do you want to play Nana, Rex? Yeah, I'll do whatever. You need to. <laughs> and so, by the way, I think it's Misty. I have to check and still talk to notes, so don't hold me to it. But I think it's Misty Marvin that's up next, guys, for next week. And I don't know if, awesome. I, I, I don't know, Misty, if you're still in here. Um, but that's kind of the plan that, that I had. And, and you guys, you know, for those that have followed us and things, you know, you've already seen a little bit of Misty and how she was a part of, working with Nell and I and, and um, Maddie Takata to, to, to help turn TikTok yeah. purple and stuff. And that, that all wouldn't have happened without some of what shenanigans she was doing behind the scenes and things. So, well, so. Amazing videos. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She does. She's got some skills. She just uh, snaps her fingers and there's a video. Yeah. She, <laughs> I don't know how. she told me, you know, after, uh, after that, that live, she spent some time kind of, sharpen her editing skills but Aww, but yeah she she can she can do some pretty she's neat stuff so talented. yeah she's so good yeah so you'll have to stay tuned and, and you know hopefully hopefully i'm right and that that's the the next guest but i know she's one of the upcoming but 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 i think that that's the next one you can see hopefully everyone i i'm so excited for it because you're the first one you are the first and and uh and showed <laughs> what we're trying to do and it's been an absolute pleasure to like get to know your daily and hourly trials and how you get through them and your beautiful family and yeah, it's true. where your beautiful spirit obviously comes from um and is a lot of yeah. is a lot of what you had to walk through yeah what a blessing to, to have you guys i'm glad that you accepted when i when i when i reached yeah. out I, I you know you're one of the first and and, uh, we love it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we just we just needed to have you to have you first, and and uh, I mean, Misty kind of. Really yeah, it. yeah. Thank you all so much. Absolutely, absolutely. And and Katrina, you just joined. Hey, Katrina, she's the so one. anybody. I've been trying. I've been really good back here, you guys. I've been keeping a list of the names. Yeah. Not like. Uh. Turn TikTok purple day where I didn't know what monitor to even look into. <laughs> um, so right now, Rex, if you can find, yep. and if anybody knows because we don't have our <clears throat> be back. Our let no, you don't. Just, oh no, oh, no, no, no. oh no, I'll give you my phone. Am I doing some kind of? Do you guys know where you can type in names and it will just spin and it will choose the name? Do you guys know of any app like oh, that? An app like that. I don't think so. Yeah. What if we just you could just what what about the name and a hat concept? <laughs> you could actually <laughs> I have all fine. the names and you could point. Yeah, let's just do. Okay. Let's, well, for, I mean we'll 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 evolve as we get here, but yeah. people people aren't yeah. having high expectations. They already we're not <laughs> pretending that we're already there, you know? It's like <laughs> Okay, so a couple things. Yeah. Remember these prize, like a lot of the things that I, just seeing the song in your head, brown paper packages, <laughs> these are a few of my favorite things. So if you're like, what the crap is that? I'll explain. Anyway, so we have three levels to our home and a lot of times I do not leave the top level. 
So, you know, we've got the cold, again, hot, cold water, a fridge on this level, but not everyone's, you know, able to do that. And plus, it's just nice to have if you can have your food packed up before. Um, so there's this, and Rex will model it beautifully for you. This, seriously, is one of the cutest. It's from Tagalongs. This reminds me of the... Or are you still there? You are. This reminds me of my... I had, a, I had a UTA shoot day. I don't know if you guys knew that. He's, tr he's trying to tell you he's a big-time actor. Um, oh, Courtney, that's hiding your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Courtney, <yeah. laughs> so, Forgive me while I hide the special okay, guest for a moment. <laughs> okay. So this, is, called, this okay. is from a company called... Ta Do your job, man. Oh, sorry. From Tagalongs, and it is an amazing oh, there little, we go. they That's call better. it a foodie tote. <laughs> I could have done that. Look at that. See that? Yeah, they call it a little foodie tote. Look how cute it is. But, um, foodie tote. Okay. And? You know, maybe it? when you have the energy spurts like we all talk about, and you want to just say, hey, I, I don't know how tomorrow's going to be, and I need to pack myself a meal. All right? Now this story you're going to think I'm probably weird. So I have my own set of like little utensils up here. And I'll sometimes wash them in my uh, bathroom sink. But I keep them right with me again so that we don't have kitchen utensils all over the house. And this company is so fun. They're called Bombshell Baker. And you'll have to show them the handle and then. So it's the cutest little kit. So it comes its own little um, zip zip up kit that's totally wipeable. All the utensils in it are rose gold plated and you even have chopsticks. And so you just have to clean them, wipe them, put them back in. It's complete, like I said, it's completely wipeable inside like a little lunch tote. This is like your spoonies. <laughs> this, is your, this, is, this is your spoonies cajier, whatever you want to. So, obviously, I was thinking about it. Not everyone's going to want certain things. So, mm -hmm. if you're interested right now and you're in here, just put a little heart. If you're interested in getting these, because these two we're drawing for right now. Oh, um, right so now. while you're putting hearts, we'll get the we're gonna show the next items for next week. So heart if you want it. Oh, and these. Is that right? I forgot. Oh, look at her heart. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Courtney. Well, I think that's I think that's double entry or something. <laughs> she was like triple time. Triple. She was like she she skipped. She didn't even. So here, she didn't go to the emoji. She she's like. <laughs> Um, inside, so what I'll send along with the, the, the foodie tote and mm -hmm. that is, so this, I don't know if anybody's heard of your super company. They are so amazing. And we all know we don't always get the best nutrition because we're not up cooking our own food. So these bars are amazing. I think they, I'm very picky. I think they taste amazing and they are packed full of some of the most amazing, just like you were talking about Courtney with the keto drinks. So yeah. So these will, um, in each of the, like the foodie tote, we'll get two bars and then the utensils will get two bars with it. <clears throat> Next week, one of my favorite companies and I know, tell me, Courtney, with you, do you have skin sensitivity with your... I do. <clears throat> yeah. I have, um, there's only certain products that I can use. It pretty much has to be on the head Yeah, okay. So one of the companies I adore is um, Beekman, and they've been around since 1802. And they are all natural. Pretty much all their products come from goat goat's milk and this is their um grapefruit what was it 
The scent's right there on the bottom. Probably go grapefruit no. passion or something. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back, Vanna. You're, honey, you're oh, hey, honey, Vanna. honey grapefruit or something. Vanna. Yeah, it's their honey grapefruit. So there's a honey. lip. There's a lip balm and a hand cream for one of you. And then the other one of you, and I'm telling you, this is this is the only stuff I use on my face or You're doing a great job, Vanna. Am I doing pretty good? <laughs> I'm so glad. I knew there was something I'm so about glad that, you think that. Something about um, that UTA shoot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Utah Transit Authority. If you don't know, yeah, it's, they're like, that's. You, what, what? I was invited to do some photo shoots with little, some modern for the little, little Mersh, you guys. yeah for a, a Utah Transit. He's a star now. Anyway, and then the other one is the same honey grapefruit from Beekman, and it's a big tub of body cream and a bar of soap. And these are so gentle, so safe. An incredible high-end company. So those will be next week. And then for, I seriously, I'm thinking of the guys in the groups here. You're yeah. you're welcome. It's all right. This is the coolest. Has anybody heard? I'm sure you guys have heard of poopery. Poopery. You, you guys, anybody heard it's of like poopery? Like potpourri, but it's like potpourri. <laughs> it's like a like a spritz thing. So this I thought would be such a cool design in a in a guy's bathroom, but it's a, and it's a bigger bottle of the poopery. Vanna, where I are swear you? I just saw Courtney hold up hers right next to her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but look how cool this bottle is. Sleek, black. So these are all next week. Okay. The Beekman and the Poopery. But you said that you said with these these purple hearts, so the purple I can hearts, just like randomly point and then choose one, right? Is that what we're kind of doing? You're gonna randomly point on my phone. You, you can't randomly point there. They're not. You won't be able to see them all at once. Or uh, point out. Oh. I can kind of scroll through. Okay. No, let's, I have let's them. Get... I've already written them. Okay. You guys are just gonna have to trust this process. Hi, Katrina. We see ya. Katrina follows us on all three platforms and things and is a great friend of ours. So thanks for joining. Um, Love you. Our little spin wall isn't put together yet. Oh, yeah. We're, we, we're, we'll have a spin wall later, but right now we're just improvising. Just, just surviving here. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, let me show everybody. So I've been typing everybody. Your, can I see? Your I names, whoever's come yeah, in. Yeah, they can kind of see it. And Rex is just going to close his eyes and point. Okay, close my eyes. Ready? See, close my eyes. Go. Don't point. lose. Okay. Who was it? Stephanie Tofel Goldberg. Stephanie Tofel Goldberg. Tofel Goldberg. Tofel Goldberg. Tofel Goldberg. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, man. <laughs> what is that again? Tofu. 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 I'm so bad. Tofu burger. <laughs> so it's not getting any better. Okay. It's not, it's not making fun of you. It's no, just it's making, making fun of fun me. Of him, 100%. Okay, I'm Stephanie. Goldberg. We didn't. There's no. Stephanie R Goldberg. Are you still here? Come on sweetie? down. Well, <laughs> if anybody sees her in the chat, will you let her know she won? Yeah, so make a note of that name, and then how do they get it? Do they send us an email or their you address? You need to email us your address, please. So, Stephanie, you need to email email us <laughs> your address at rex. Uh, rex. Uh, Laura, you can't rex, breathe. Is it something rex, because of Rex? Or yeah. serious. Rex.mail at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. We, we'll continue to do this, too. This yeah. is why I have the journal. Yeah. So, all right. Winner number two. Oh, number two. Goodness. Ready? Close your eyes. <laughs> Tiffany's back in the house. Tiffany, you've been missing all the fun. She, I, she popped out and popped back in here. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, eyes closed. Oh, yeah. 
there. Survey there says. Go. Oh, that's the wrong show. You're going to butcher Carisha another name. Carisha Fuentes. Carisha Fuentes. Carisha Fuentes. <laughs> Is that oh, right? please forgive us. <laughs> oh, Tiffany, oh, you're please. forgiven. You could pop in and out all you want, my friend. Oh, yeah, there's no... You, you could, you could, you could catch the video recording on YouTube later, by the way. <laughs> so, what was it? Fuentes? Number two was <laughs> Carisha Fuentes. Carisha Fuentes. Now, Email. What was the first one, Rex? Stephanie. Doppelganger. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie I'm Doppelganger. I'm gonna throw in an extra prize or something. Stephanie Do is it Doppelganger? No. Stephanie Toffel Goldberg. Oh. <laughs> Stephanie. Oh my word. Stephanie. You gotta be kidding. Stephanie Toffel Goldberg. God, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this lighting's blacking out. It's making my face look like I've just put Crisco on it. <laughs> look at that. You see that changing? I mean, who? What guy wants to do a live like that with the Crisco? Well, and, then that, it, and then it changes. <laughs> okay. We All right. Okay. Okay. What about? <laughs> what about, how are we gonna wrap this up? We, All we right, gotta, you guys. So some... Stephanie and Parisha, please. If you can email us at rex.nl at gmail.com, yeah, right. your address, and we'll get those out to you. Yeah. And then you guys, uh, come join us next week yeah, next, for Misty. Next Thursday, Misty Marvin. And then by then, we'll be able to, we're, we'll be also drawing the prizes for the Young Living Diffuser and all that. So that will be four people winning next week. Yep, and it'll only get funner when we get spinneroos yes. and different things. And this is our first uh, attempt at it, and so we really love that you guys like the disorganization the, the, the and the, 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 the evolving of it all. Budget. Hopefully, that makes it a little bit more fun, you know? Right? We're just kind of it's total low budget production. You know, know what we're doing. it's it's from the heart. It's from the heart, right? One thing at a time. That's right. It's like taking a shower, you know, yeah, and then you just gotta you go. be like, whatever, you whatever, go. whatever, not love. You gotta scrub and you gotta rest. <laughs> that's, just what you gotta do. that's right. We covered the basics and that's all we got, people. Yeah. Right? <laughs> anyway, and it's kind of fun. You you guys will, I hope, kind of get to see a little bit of my personality with the prizes. Now, of course, I definitely want any of the guys. It, it, any caretakers coming in here too, please yeah. come in. We there will be gender neutral things, things that will prizes geared towards men. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm I'm going after the companies. I told you guys that. Yeah. I'm going after them, and I'm letting them know there's a lot of people that you can make happy. Yeah, and don't don't ask, don't underestimate your influence. I mean, I love Laurel yeah, and, and others so that have true. commented in here. Um, uh, fight and survive. Oh, every survive. one of them that's been on here has been amazing. You guys have helped li uplift, you know, my day. You know, I we it's been kind of a rough, 100%. a rough day, and then you just wonder how the lives going to turn out, and you feel like that maybe there's some expectations yeah. with it or whatever, and mm -hmm. and you end up walking away, you know, feeling better yourself, and and so that's it, it, it. It works both ways here, and so I want you to know that it's much more than just a a little icon and some comments here and there. You know, we feel yeah. your spirit and your and your love. So we really love you guys. Um. Also, and that's, Courtney, send your address as well. Said, sorry, but y'all said that um, like y'all had a bad day. Yeah. I have, like I told y'all, I had a I've had a really yeah. bad pain day, migraine day, just yeah. all around, and this may. Telling my story, listening to everybody else, trying to give criticism, them giving me that, yeah. and to be able to speak to everybody. Y'all have lifted me up so much oh. that my stress is gone. My wow. tightness, my 
my shoulders, everything. Like, oh, everybody yes. doesn't realize how much just y'all being here helps. Oh, oh Laurel says, you me, guys, me freaking too, see she what says. You do? Laurel, send, Laurel, make sure you send an email. We're we're getting to a point now where we want to make sure that it's getting captured as people are submitting it. And I know that you've been part of the original crew that's kind of started in the, with the Zoom. She wants to kind of be a part of that. So, yes. So if you would just make sure to, to send that, that email to the rex.nell at gmail.com, then it will, it will uh, make sure that we're not missing things as that starts to grow, okay? Because just like with Courtney, we... Yeah, it's... Hold on, she's, we, can you tell me what it is again? It's rex.nell. So rex... Let me type it in yeah, rex.nell at gmail.com. Um, yeah, yeah, we'd love to have you, my friend. Courtney, it was such a pleasure. Oh, what an honor. Yeah, that... Is, Oh, Thank my you. word. Golden. Golden. Thank you, Bye, guys. Hey, yeah. uh, don't forget to send your address, Courtney. And it was uh, it was nice to meet you, Anthony, you and your boys and, and things. I mean, truly, you absolutely. know, we'll, we'll be in touch. And, you know, like we've in said in, in, uh, in our other lives, I mean, we're, you know, when this COVID stuff's done, we'll figure out a way to, to, to meet people in person for sure, you guys. Yeah. That's what Anthony said. When this COVID's done... Coming to Utah. Oh, we got for we sure. Got spare rooms. For sure. Woo! That goes for Laurel. That goes for Curly we Dog. Can't, that we kicked for... all of our kids out of our house. We got spare rooms, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're empty nesters, man. We can sleep over time. <laughs> Bring out the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so, thanks again. Be sure to tune in for next week, you guys. Watch the whole recording on YouTube. Get people subscribing to that YouTube so we can get live over there, you guys. And um, you know, we so appreciate you. Yeah. Bottom line. Thanks for thanks for coming on and being our first special guest. I'm gonna sleep with a smile on my face. Thank yeah. y'all. Me too. Yeah. We Thank love you. Sweetie. Love All right. You guys. Love okay, you. We're out. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.